stage freeze. Don't say stage freeze, just do it. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. Back again with Stranger Things. This is season four, episode two. Uh, Vecna's, Vecna's curse. curse. So last episode, um, it was basically telling us like what was going on with the kids and where everyone's at in their lives mm -hmm. um, after the events of season three. Um, but I guess um, getting to the meat of it, it seems like there's some sort of monster or whatever that um, it's is haunting, haunting uh, kids, I guess. I'm thinking survivors, but um, I'm not quite sure. But um, <clears throat> We were talking about this off screen about how the, I don't know her name, the cheerleader mm -hmm. that um, was being haunted, um, she went into the oh, yeah, counselor's yeah, yeah, yeah. office and yeah, Max yeah. also yeah. went in there. Yeah. I don't think my baby is tied up to the therapist because um, the question, when I was editing that episode, I didn't notice when I was watching it, but when I was editing the episode, um, I noticed that she kept saying, maybe, I could, maybe I'm looking too deep into it, but she kept saying, oh, I'm here for you and all that type of stuff. But then when I watched the end of the scene when the girl died with the monster, like the Freddy Krueger type monster did, he kind of said the same, it sounded the same things that the therapist was saying. So, I don't know, maybe those two are connected somehow. And yeah. we know now, because other people have um, said stuff, that this season um, is, the, you know, they got, um, is not based on, but like, the, the feel of Freddy Krueger. Uh, Nightmare, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, yeah. and um, in that, in those, all those movies, it's all about um, you have the fear that you have inside yeah. you. And if, I think the cheerleader i think he, one of her parents died or yeah. maybe the dad or the mom i don't know they must have been one of the victims of you know remember last season yeah so and max she's also a victim yeah. because her brother died yeah and so was, maybe yeah, that's the that fear so bad, that but, this yeah. supposed you know monster is feeding off of i was telling her too that um i think that the i think that the thing that happened with uh what's her name the cheerleader I'm sorry, we forgot yeah, her name. I'm whatever. so sorry, but she's dead now, so yeah. whatever. Well, uh, with the cheerleader when she died, um, I feel like I feel like Max is gonna go through the same shit because she is experiencing. I think maybe it's very early stage, but she's saying she can't sleep. She's taking vitamins. Um, vitamins. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know so, what they are. And I'm thinking it's like very little early stage, but I think eventually it's gonna happen the same thing. She's gonna start hearing voices, maybe Billy's voice or something like that. Uh, and she was seeing things. Yeah, uh, the girl was seeing things too. So I think everything that that yeah. seeing seeing things that yeah. were a part of her yeah. fear. So I think so Max's could be diff totally different, maybe yeah. depending. So on I'm assuming that every I think Max is gonna go through the same thing at some point because I feel like that'd be interesting. Um, also with other characters, we, um, got with Mrs. Willer, or not Mrs. Willer, um, Byer, um, well, no yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she got a letter saying that Hopper is still alive. Um, we don't know who sent it, you know, so, curious to know when we're going to get information about that, because we know he's in Russia. Um, on Port 11, she is in high school, yeah, being bullied. and she's being bullied, and she yeah. doesn't have any superpowers, yeah. but I kind of hope... Um, that she can defeat this bully without having superpowers because I think uh, that is a testament of what it is to be like well, here's in the, high school. I think she needs her powers because um, in the beginning of the season, um, everyone got killed. I think that Eleven is strong enough to defeat it and it went away because of something she did. Because you see her eyes were almost red too. So I think she did something to defi defeat it and if you notice, she's the one always stopping these monsters. You know, they they are like what zero and or what was it zero three and zero at that point. She keeps defeating them all the time. So I yeah, think, and this is another type of monster. Yeah, so this is another this type bully, of monster. But she I, has no powers. So. I know, but I I don't I want her to, to defeat the bully without the powers. No, I'm not talking about the bully. Fuck the bully. I'm talking about the big monster. I yeah. I, I understand the yeah. monster, but the a bully is another form of a mon monster whatever but well, i want her to yeah. defeat that bully yeah. because she's a bitch okay yeah defeat the bitch i don't care about the bitch I'm i care about her okay. i want Elle to have beat her episode, ass without the power have an episode where you defeat her with no powers 
There you go. That's I'm what I want. about with the big monster, like the Thanos, you can't beat someone with a prank, okay? You need to, you need power support. I'm sure she'll get her fucking powers yeah. back. I'm so just saying. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. We're talking about two separate things. But I'm yeah. Talking about, um, I'm, at some point in the show, she needs to get her abilities back because I think that's the only way to stop it. Because when she was a kid, she stopped it. She stopped all these monsters. So she needs to get her powers back at some point to be the hero. Um, so anyway, let's just dive into it, guys. Yeah. If you're listening to the 4 reaction, you know what to do. Check out the Patreon link in the description down below. And uh, if you watch this on YouTube, we could be at the end of the season by now. Don't know exactly, but we're definitely <laughs> far ahead. So <laughs> check that out. <laughs> Hopper, on Hopefully. how he is in Russia. I was still on the ground the whole time, and she just didn't see him. Yeah, she. Is. Oh, he was there the whole time. She said. Oh, I thought somehow he got trapped, like some. Yeah. Okay. She didn't bother to come down and check the holes. She looked at the body and then went I thought she came down there and said, Hopper, are you there? Well, say, well yeah, maybe there. she didn't go fully down there. I don't know. She didn't bother Hopper, are you there? No? Hi! <laughs> 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 saw the body. I don't know if he died. Oh, I wonder if he left, like ran or is he... Oh, oh yeah. Get back inside. I'm sure you could do an autopsy and say that she did it herself or she twisted. No uh, human being could do this. But did Eddie just leave the body? I need you down here ASAP to tell me what the hell I'm looking at or how someone can even do something like this. It's like awkward hug. Hey Mike. Oh, hey Mike, this is uh, my friend Argyle. Oh, hey. Argyle. Argyle. Okay. That sounds like the oh, guy from um, Die Hard. No, he was the limo driver. I heard a lot about you since I met you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to say this. Uh, you're really good at this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
way. When we got to high school, Lucas made all his sports friends, Mike and me. I mean, no one was nice to us. No one except Eddie. Okay, well, I mean, they said the same shit about Ted Bundy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's sad <laughs> as true. Ted Bundy is like Ted Bundy. No, that, I'm not saying I'm saying... Just don't rule it out. That's all I'm saying. That's exactly what she's saying. Don't rule the shit out. In the yeah. look of the evidence... Yeah, he's a suspect. Even though we know he didn't do it, but, you know. After I saw Eddie and Chrissy go in the trailer, something else happened. Oh, she saw it. Okay, okay. She saw the flash, maybe? No, all the lights probably went off. Yeah. Just her lights went off. Oh, okay, okay. So he started screaming. Yeah. I don't know if I would have done that, but uh easy. Yeah. He's young, he's so scared. This morning, I started to think back, the look on his face. He was scared, Dustin. Mm. Really scared. I saw I'm, someone the upside down. down. Something else killed her. Yeah. yeah. I don't trust him. For starters, who the hell sent this? A friend. Uh, a friend? Of Hop's? Hop is alive. No government? This looks and reads like a ransom note and a bad one at that. There's no proof of life here. Yes, there is. It's signed Enzo. So? So? There's only two people who knew about our date at Enzo's, and that's me. Oh! Whoever wrote this, Hop trusted enough to make him sign it Enzo. I didn't see a body. Yeah, you, the rule is television, you go to the body. He evaporated. Or he survived. This could be real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopper could be alive. I suppose there's only one way to find out. We're gonna call that number. And we're going to find out. I don't think you're allowed to fly to Russia around this time because you still have beef with them, I believe. Or maybe you could, I don't know. Are we going to see how he was captured? Yeah. Oh. oh, shit. Tell me, who are you working with? I told you, no one. Yeah. This woman, who is she? Must you tell me? Who is it? She's wearing a Russian uniform. You want to die for this woman? Oh, is it meant that hard to breathe? Yeah. Damn. That's this is some creative torture, though. Stitching. That is Grace. <laughs> this is her address. No torture. Why do you keep lying to Mike? I'm not lying. You know, you're friends with Angela and Stacy, and you come to parties here? I have been to a party. For mom's work. That's not what you imply. And he doesn't deserve that. And when he finds out, he's gonna be mad. Okay, so I asked. I don't think Mike would be mad. Is that awesome? Yeah, well, I don't think yeah, I don't think he's gonna be like Mad, man. Yeah. yeah, well, Will looks miserable. Ah, oh, there's that bitch. Oh, oh my God. shit. Yeah. But it seems like the snitch has a boyfriend. Oh, is she gonna try and get with him to get back at no, she just like, She didn't snitch on you, she just didn't say nothing. What about your girlfriend? She partied it last night? Chrissy? No. That's odd. Well, with her being your girlfriend and all. Why are you asking about Chris? <clears throat> Drugs? No. No way. Chrissy, Chrissy doesn't mess with that crap. Maybe someone talked her into it. No. She's, she's she straight does as narrow. Yeah, yeah. What about Eddie Munster? You ever seen her talking to him? That freak? No. What? What does Eddie have to do with all this? She was dead at his place. Did that freak hurt her? Did he hurt Chrissy? 
Is this him turning into like the bad guy? Access to residents only. Uh, I know you. I don't think so. Yeah. But what? Actually, I do know you. You're Fred Benson. You killed that kid last year. Ooh, what? What? Uh, oh. It was an accident. An accident. Oh. He's a Yeah. You're a murderer, is what you are. Oh my god, that's scary. A murderer. <laughs> So Wait, so what happened? Just, um, he said that uh, it was an there accident. There was an accident. And someone it's... died. Okay. So I guess this kid's dead next. I mean, he's next on the list, yeah. at least. Yeah. Where, oh, where have you been hiding this camp city thing? Uh, th this is Mike, my boyfriend. Angela, pleasure. Heard a lot about you. It's really cool to finally meet someone about Jane's friends. Friends? Yeah, super cool. Let's skate, shall we? I, I wanted to finish this. Oh, hold on to that. Cool. Come on. Oh, there's Summer Up. Oh. Yeah. This next song is dedicated to Jane, the local snitch. I call fucking bullshit. Okay, whatever. Some carry shit. Oh. What a fucking dick. Can you see the sign, dummy? Let's put our drinks on the way. <laughs> I agree with you, yeah. I'll tell you, just one big punch in the face and they'll stop playing. I'll tell you, I had a bully and I punched him square in the face, got in trouble, but <laughs> can't ever fuck with me again. Look at that big ass computer. <laughs> wow, okay. You are now calling from Durham, North Carolina. It is KGB. They will still be able to trace us eventually, so keep it brief. How brief? A minute back. So, this is Joyce. I received your message, and I would like to make a reservation. Yes. Good, good. But for reservation, you need to make deposit. Uh, wh wh what kind of deposit? $40,000. You have to know us. Trust. Oh, yeah. you, you want me to go to Alaska? Yes. You give Yuri money, Yuri gets me money, I give him your friend. Super Jane. Why? First, we're, we're gonna have to speak to Hawk. We need to know that he's alive. Hey! How do I trust you? I don't know who you are. Actually, it makes sense. Alaska's right next to Russia, Russia, Russia yeah. so okay. Yeah, so it does make a lot of sense. Dude. They're like really close. Who the hell was that? I don't know the guards that's torturing him. Sure. No, you did this. He was strong American. Perhaps the motherland could use that strength. I'd put up to you when I come to <laughs> oh, sorry, they're all Wesley Snipes. <laughs> no. Lieutenant Colonel, we'll continue. Eddie Munson, he's a part of that freak devil cult hellfire. The cop, they say Chrissy went to him to buy drugs. Drugs? No, that's what I said. Chrissy would never touch this shit. It's this cult piece of shit. Dungeon Dragons is a, is a game. It's, it's just a D and D club. D D and D, Dungeons and Dragons. How exactly 
Is it, you know, all of that, Sinclair? It's my sister. Yeah, she's like, she's like a total... Well, that's true. You know, I read the wrong person plays this game. It can, it can warp their mind. And they confuse fantasy and reality, and innocent people die. Oh, my God. I mean, it's been happening all over the country. It's like, it's like an epidemic. Yeah, I've read about that shit. It's real. Well, Chris, you want us to just stand by? Why the cops go around pursuing some, some bullshit leads? Spreading rumors saying she's some, some druggie? Do something about it! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Let's go on some freak! Yeah. Yeah. He sounds like a politician. And he's warping the facts to get what he wants. Apparently Eddie gets his drugs from some guy named Reefer Rick. And <laughs> Reefer Rick? That's not good. Um, what about a last name? I don't know that either. But the cops know a last name. What? Cops. I mean, was if this reefer Rick is actually a drug dealer, I can guarantee he's been busted at some point. You think Eddie's guilty, don't you? Whoa, I believe in innocent until proven guilty, all that constitutional shit. I just, you know, just don't think that we can rule it out. That's yeah, exactly. You can't rule it out. What are trying to do here, Steve? Mm. Okay. Maybe we don't have a last name. Oh, that's smart. But... Oh, okay. Candles, Teen Wolf, and Romance in the Stone. Oh, what's next to me? There you go. <laughs> Bingo. And all the videos are late. Just because he likes a person likes certain movies. Drug dealer. <laughs> Questions. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Acting like a friend. And I'm just looking for something, anything really about what happened last night. Why? As long as I can tell you, you all have it figured out already. Let me tell your side of the story. Oh no. See, he, it's the same thing, the clock thing. Where's the clock? Well, he's hearing the clock, oh. and Chrissy had the I'm same thing. Maybe it's the time of death or something, or, you know, like... Can I just... The man who did this... Killed that poor girl. Man? You think you know who might have done this? You ever hear the name... Victor Creel? This whole family, kids and wife, took their eyes, cut them right out, and then he broke out. I mean, Victor was innocent. Victor was still alive. They locked him away, and well, I know he's still there. That is, unless he broke out. He's talking who this Victor is. I'll, I'll be right back. It's like he's describing a, like how you know Freddy Krueger is like. The arc of the story of his story, you know, like Victor it interests was, me. I think Victor was innocent. He must have witnessed it, and they put the blame on him because this thing has happened before. I find this kid dead too. Maybe I think it's too soon. Oh no! Oh, I see oh, people wow, behind, him. behind him. Her eyes stretched out. That's real torture, shaving him. Can you translate that? I can't understand it, it's too low. She, she wants to use the phone. She's mad at Enzo. Calls him a Musa. Musa? It's slang. For what? Often directed at cops. Cops? Oh. So he's a cop? Or a guard? A guard, probably. Or guards. Mm hmm. Like, what, like $80,000, $90,000? I don't know, like, you know. 
she just wants to sabotage them? Well, she was lying to you, Mike. Straight to your face ever since you got here. And, and I've been a total third wheel all day. It's been miserable. I'm so sorry if I wasn't, wasn't smiling. Well, what about us? What? Well, you're mad that I didn't talk to you? Or that you're not interested in anything I have to say? That's just not true. You called maybe a couple times. It's been a year, Mike. Meanwhile, Elle has like a book of letters from you. That's because she's my girlfriend. Maybe you should have reached out more. I, I don't know. But why is this on me? Yeah, why is why it on him? Yeah. That's true. This goes both ways. Well, I'm sorry. I love you, dude. But it does go both ways. Yeah, but when you... Okay, oh. yeah. Especially when you move and also you yeah. are growing up. Yeah. Like you... Sometimes you break away from yeah. your friends that you were a exactly, young yeah. kid, so yeah. it's, I don't really it's blame it's just Mike. life. Yeah. I don't I I don't think yeah. Mike did it any he, yeah. he didn't mean to do it maliciously, yeah. I don't think. He, oh, what should we do? Punch him in the face. Angela! You ruined my day. Oh no! Did we embarrass you in front of your boyfriend? <laughs> I want you to say sorry to me. And I want you to tell my boyfriend that it was just a joke. Or what? You're gonna hurt us with your mean stare again. We'll just have to cry to your dad instead. Oh wait, can't do that either. Punch her in the face. <gasps> Is she gonna hit her in the head with her with her rollerblade? Good, beat her out with the rollerblade. Look at that! I'm telling you, that works. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thank you. That's not what she punched her. When your head bleeds, it like really bleeds a lot. Yeah. But she's fine. She, I'm sure she's fine. I'm glad she did something because I heard her sitting there like saying, cry and saying, say sorry. I think that was kind of like, oh, that's why I'm glad she did. But now I'm, I'm, I'm assuming like they're going to like get her in trouble because she hit someone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, he was in there yeah. hiding. Dustin, this is Steve. He's not gonna hurt you. Steve, why don't you drop the oar? No, <laughs> Robin. From band. <laughs> We're on your side. I swear on my mother. We just. Want to talk. Don't touch him, go flip out on you. You won't believe me. Trust me, you may. Trash. Yeah. There we go. Oh, is that dead? Killed someone. I don't think you're crazy don't at all. Don't bullshit me, man. I know how this sounds. We're not bullshitting you. We... You know how people say Hawkins is... Cursed. Cursed. Well, it is. They're not... There are some things... worse than ghosts.
It was like she, she was in a trance or something. Or under a spell. Back in Oh, shit. Sorry, oh. kid. That there's a story that's forming. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I did past the first episode, I just felt like it was. I felt the time in that one. This one, I feel like it went by a little bit past. I was a little lost in the first one, yeah. and that's why I felt like yeah. I was keep on checking my 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 phone and the time. Yeah. It was like this one, I like a lot more. The, yeah. yeah. And um, I'm gonna tell you from I'm gonna go from my least story to my favorite storyline. Okay. Uh, my least storyline, obviously, Jonathan. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can say about his character. And if you guys are watching the edited version, there's a 100% chance I'm cutting his scenes out. Yeah, um, but it sucks because then, then you have to cut out Argyles. Yeah. Because they're together. Yeah. And he's so funny. So, um, quick yeah. little recap for Argyle. Hilarious guy, but yeah. I am cutting him out of the. the it's not. Episode. To me, yeah. I don't find that important, yeah, important. right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, my next least storyline um, is the. Um, L, L and. I always call it the um, bully. Bully. It's entertaining. It's a little entertaining to watch, but um, to me, I feel like it's just high school bullshit. I don't really care for high school bullshit, um, it, you know. But um, I like those two characters. I like the little storyline, their or their relationship, like you know, um, going, you know. But um, I don't think there's other like, yeah. You need to add that storyline. Um, I just want to say that. Maybe she shouldn't have used that thing. Yeah, she should have she, her. No, she should have grabbed... All you gotta do is grab her grab her hair mm -hmm. and just punch her in the fucking face. You don't need, you don't need to use a weapon. Yeah. Because now, because she used it's that... Assault, but if they're gonna, gonna like... They're gonna get on her yeah. and be like, you assaulted someone, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so... Yeah. If she used her fist, it probably would have been a less yeah. charge. I don't think it was a charge. I think it's less what's called. I feel like... Not even the grabbing the hair thing. That's a little too much. All she had to no, do I ain't was say, hair. hey, Angela, and then walk away. You know, you didn't have to, like, grab her by the face and just, uh, uh, you know? I would, no, I, it's a less charge if you hit someone with your fist yeah. than with the object. By the time, yeah, you're right. By the time, I'm not Not that I know. Yeah. I'm just saying. You know, but, um, I, but here's the thing, too, which I think this is kind of bullshit because it happens all the fucking time. Her parents is probably going to bitch that you're hurting her kid and the teachers are probably going to do nothing about it. And then, uh, it's Elle's a cliche. Gonna, yeah, Elle's going to get in trouble because she's defending herself. She literally just got, like, milkshake thrown on her and what's called. But, yeah, it's just, it happens all the fucking time. And but we were getting Carrie vibes yeah. from that it, vibe, when they yeah. were in the rink and they were all laughing at her. Yeah. So, um, I'm hoping that she just... Yeah. But we, but I don't want, obviously we don't want her to end up like Carrie. Yeah. Because I don't want her to be like that, you know, I don't want her to kill all these people, mm -hmm. so, but then I, I, and we're getting those vibes, so, yeah. yeah. Um, and also the Will, um, situation. Will and Mike. I, yeah, Will, it's just the thing, um, I love Will to death, but I feel like it could have gone both ways when he's bitching about, um, Mike not calling him. He called him three times. Well, how many times did you call him? You know, um, and I feel like the you could argue the case like, oh well, why is he talking to Eleven more? Well, Eleven or why are you talking to El more? Well, Ele um, um, well, they're well, dating. Yeah, they're dating, and she's writing back to him, and he's writing back to her. So it makes more sense as a communication. He called you, but did you ever call him? So. There you go. When you're in high school, yeah. your relationships change. Yeah. Okay, I when I was in high school, the friends that I made in middle school, yeah, they kind of. I you kind of yeah. you, you know you hate to them in the hallway, but you don't really and you know and especially when you are you know when you're not even in the same state, state yeah, of course that's gonna make it ten times hard. So, yeah. um, I don't think there's an you know issue. Yeah, like it just happens. Life yeah. happens. So you know what? This whatever. is a perfect example. I had a good friend in elementary school. His name was Bo. 
I, I, he was cool, we hanged out all the time, I went to his house all the time, we played so many video games, Sega Genesis, all that type of stuff. But then I moved to Sacramento, Then that's when we started to drift apart. You know, we tried to talk, but you go away. So, I see the exact same situation with um, Will and Mike, you know, I feel like they're drifting away. But, in my opinion, I made friends and he kind of didn't, you know. I feel like Will needs to start making more friends and make an effort more to be around people that he's not used to, you know. Um, do you want to speak to the camera? Uh, no, that was the thing for the most part. Okay. So, yeah. um, I also want to talk about Nancy. So, um, she's like on this, you know, trip yeah. by herself, really, um, doing her Nancy Drew things. Yeah. And Jonathan's not here. And I know that we already talked about Jonathan, but so he is not going to the same college that she is, mm -hmm. but he lied to her about it. Yeah. He really, he's really going to go somewhere else, maybe. Yeah. So, to me, how old is Jonathan? How, is he, he's like, what, like 19? Yeah. You think? I think, oh, oh by the way, I found out that they're, um, they're actually uh, seniors in high school. I found that out. Um, I oh, was Jonathan and Nancy? Yeah. I thought for sure that they were, I thought they were uh, done. high school, but last season took place during the summer, and uh, they're okay. in between. She's a year younger than Steve. And so you think they're like 18 then, maybe? Yeah, they're 18. They're, in, they're seniors in high school. Okay, so yeah. they're 18. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's kind of childish. You yeah. can't even tell her that you're not going to some. But then again, if they are still in high school, you know. Yeah. But I mean, this is a hard conversation to have, really. But um, I will also, I don't know. Again, again, it's the same thing we say about will. You drift apart. Relationships, nine out of, like nine out of ten times, and your high school sweetheart is not the one you end up with forever. Not saying it's not true, because I know a person who has been, but it doesn't normally happen. You know, so this closing is so long, but I thought there's something yeah, to talk no, about. It's be long okay, um, I also want to talk about Eddie. Yeah. And the whole the thing with D and D. Yeah. And what's that basketball player's name? I don't know. Whatever the guy yeah. with the good hair. So he is using. He's saying, and this happened in the first episode. They're talking about it was the newspapers. They're yeah. saying the D and D is a cult. Yeah. Blah blah, and these kids are bad and yeah. whatever. And, which is kind of not. I'm not saying true, but that is what people would think of, especially in the '80s. They thought that is like a cult, you know. But like now, when people <clears throat> say D and D, yeah, just, you know, they could they don't. You're not, you, just, you don't associate yeah, you that with yeah. that because. But during that time period, yeah. Maybe people. I don't know. It was. I don't understand because it's just a board yeah. game. People maybe are thinking. It's, maybe it's sort of like the same people who kept saying rock and roll is the devil's music. You know, it's just. People you remember like, when, uh, I remember when jazz, people were going music. crazy over, like, um, you know, like, shooting video games? Yeah. People were going crazy about how we need to ban those, blah, yeah. blah, blah, but it's just video games. Yeah. I really don't understand the issue here. Yeah. Um, but anywho, I liked how th that guy, whatever. Eddie. No. Oh, the, the basketball the, yeah, player. Yeah. Whatever. He is, he's, what he's spewing out, he sounds like a to me yeah. because you know he's he's trying to warp people's minds. what Eddie yeah. thinks he did yeah. into D and D and that's yeah. why we should probably kill him because the a cult you know blah blah, blah. Mm. yeah but I'm I'm interested in that me for so, sure I'm just Hawkins is really yeah. interesting and the this California, California thing needs to fuck off I don't care about that the only thing about <laughs> California that I actually care about is the uh, with Joyce. Um, I'm actually interested yeah, with yeah, uh, yeah. how they're going to go about finding Hopper and I, where she going to get the 40 grand because, um, I don't know. I mean, back then, like you said, that back that's then. A that's a lot. Of, lot I mean, money. it's a lot of money now, yeah, but like, but it's like, then, that's it's like even more for the grand probably. Um, so I'm curious how she's going to go about doing that or she's going to go to Alaska and act like she's going to do it, you know, but not, you know, maybe do a rescue jailbreak or something. You know? Maybe they'll go to the casino. Yeah. I don't know. How are you going to get that money? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm actually interested in that storyline too. Um, but again, my favorite one right now is the Eddie storyline. Um, and the the body thing. I don't know. It's kind of fucking crazy, you know. Um, yeah. And I think they mentioned Victor Creed or whatever. Yeah, Victor Creel. Yeah, Creel. I feel like his... He got framed, basically. He could have been the Eddie. Like, maybe he witnessed it, but no one believed it. Because... But... I kind of feel like the autopsy report would kind of um, show that this was not no human because you could tell if someone physically 
bit the bones post-mortem or after mortem. So I feel like they're going to, how do you justify that, you know? Or maybe it is Victor Creel, meaning that that um, monster that we keep seeing mm -hmm. is, could that be, maybe not the real Victor Creel, but like the, um, the upside down version of Victor Creel. Maybe. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I know that doesn't make sense, but. I think my, oh, I also think my, uh, my, my therapist um, theory is kind of shot. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going nowhere. It's just the question that yeah. she was asking, yeah. but so, anywho, I'm done. But, you know, we can go on and on yeah. about this, but yeah. we've been talking forever, so. I do feel like, again, this episode was amazing. I'm seeing the story form, yeah. too. I'm starting to see the clicks, too, that they're also doing, too, because you know how every season you see your click? Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing the click going on. Like, we see that it's going to be mostly focused on Dustin and Max, Steve, and uh, Robin, and then Eddie. I'm not sure what Lucas fits in. Because it seems like he's he's with probably the gonna work with the, people. He's probably gonna have to choose yeah. probably because he knows that D and D is yeah. not a cult. Yeah, you know, um, so, so he I'm, may have to choose. Yeah, even though there's like nothing supernatural going on with that with Lucas' storyline, I actually find that very interesting. Yeah, you know, like that's a high school problem, obviously, but that's a high school problem that I actually kind of enjoy watching versus. Uh, Eleven and her little thing, you know. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Anyway, um, very very good episode. I'm actually very excited to dive into the next episode. Me if you too. Guys before we actually want to do, check out the Patreon we'll link in the description down below. We'll catch you guys next week.